Okay. Um, Rosemary, if you have a little step uh, outside in your garden or in the house, um, oh, I'm not going to put this on, it's too hot. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I want you to imagine that this is the step, right? So I want you to stand, so let me use the other leg so you can see. So I want you to stand on the side, on the edge of the step with both hips and keep them level. So you've got both legs the same height. Then all I want you to do is keeping the leg straight, you're going to just drop that one hip and then you pick the hip back up. So it's literally, literally like you're taking your thigh bone you're letting it sink out of that hip joint and then you're picking it back up and you're going to do a few of those so you want to do 10 like that but try it doesn't have to go all the way down so don't worry if your foot doesn't reach the floor it's just to get that hip moving try and keep your right leg that's on the step you want to keep it straight so it's literally as if if you're looking from the front it would look like that like you're sinking it and picking it up and sinking it and picking it up so you're going to do 10 of those then once you've done 10 you're going to pick up that left leg again have it level with the other foot but it's hanging so your hips are now straight you've got the legs together and you're going to slowly take it out and touch the side of the step so if you are on a step, just make sure that you're holding on to something. You don't want to squeeze too hard or fall over from that step. Find some place. If you haven't got an elevated um, area, use uh, like a thick pillow. Just so it's a little bit off the floor. So it doesn't even have to be high. Even if it's like a less than a shoebox height, that's also good. So you're going to do 10 of these. And then once you've done 10, I guess this is about seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Now, bring it next to the other leg. You're going to kick it forward, take it in a half circle. It doesn't matter if the circle is small. Reach your big toe behind you and put it on the floor. Then pick it back up and bring it half circle forward and touch the front of the floor. So... This you don't necessarily have to do on a step. You can do that with a flat foot. But it's actually nice because you can feel once you've lowered that hip and you don't want to do that. So it just gives you a, a bit of a reference point um, to work from. So you're going to do five of those half circles. And back, keeping those hips absolutely still. And you'll feel the glutes on the right leg starts to activate. And then you bring it to the front and then you lower it back down. So we're going to swap legs. So you're going to stand on the step. I'm going to do it this way again so you can see what happens to the hip. So you're going to lower it. That hip sort of pushes out slightly and then you pick it back up. And two and lift. And then I'll do the rest facing you. And lower three and pick it up. Four and up. Five and up, six and up, seven and up, eight, nine, release the hip, last one, ten, pick it up, hold the hips level, feet are next to each other, and you take it up one, two. So you are now going to feel the left glutes activate. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it back. I'm going to take it to the front. Half a circle back behind you. Bring it all the way to the front. You want to try and picture that thigh bone circling inside that hip joint. Do two more. Forward. Last one. And forward and back. Good. Then, once you've gone off the step, sort of prance with your feet a little bit and push the hips out to the side, just to loosen it a bit. And we're going to go into a quick stretch. 